Hey, I'm Paul from Norco Devs, and today we'll be building an email drip campaign with our Wix site. Check it out. So as you can see, I'm in my Wix dashboard. I'm going to create a new site, start from scratch. I'm going to choose Wix for this one. You can use A3X as well. It works for both. I'm just going to quickly go through these questions from this part here. I said, what do you want to add to your site? I'm going to make sure I add forms. That's one thing we're going to need. We need to get that user data. And from this part, we're going to have to create our own site, of course. Now, for the time being, I'm just going to create, pick any of these templates because the design of it doesn't matter. So I well, just going to pick this one here. So it's loaded up my site. I'm going to add an element to this straight on the front page. Element's going to be a contact form. Actually, element's going to be a job application form. So let's do it for a job application. Let's pick any of these. This one here looks nice. Let's do that. Now, that's our Wix form, really nicely designed as per usual by Wix. Let's have a look at the form settings. So on this Wix form, as you can see, like all Wix forms, you can have settings, you can change the name of the form. This one is a volunteer with us. You can do email notifications, change the submission table, you have form submission limits, also full information. You can do loads with the forms, they are really good. You can have conditions of visibility, you can add rules. Right, so from here, someone comes onto our site, fills in this form, and and from there, we want to create an email drip campaign to the person who filled out this form. Well, this for a second, they're going to publish this. We're going to view our site. So obviously, it's just this really easy. I'm going to fill these details in here. So I filled in the site as you can uh, fill in the uh, form. So as you can see, I'm going to submit it. Perfect. It's just what we wanted. Go back to our site. Don't need to edit mobile for the time being. We will form settings again, automations, and we're going to view your automations. And as you can see, lots of automations. You can do some popular ones uh, to sell more. If you run an e-commerce, you can engage with clients, get paid on time, manage your business, loads you can do with Wix's automations. Right, so what we want to do, we want to start from scratch and we want to go with our volunteer with us form. Now, what you can do as well, which is really, really cool, you can go for cho form choice. So you can do different automations for different choices on the form. So with the volunteer with us form, we had different choices for how did you find the site? So you can change your email drip campaign for social media, say, or you can change your email drip campaign for days on the, on the form. There was different days you can pick, but we don't need that for the time being. This is for everyone just completed the, the form. We want to choose a specific form. It's everyone completed this form and the first action will be send an email because it's obviously it's an email drip campaign we need to edit the top part here as you can see from details we want to make sure we edit this section we've got a charity because it's meant to be a charity because you're volunteering perfect that's all set up gives you templates as well just like mailchimp which is really really cool right so we click on this part here i want to change the logo now if you like this video and want to learn all about no code tools please subscribe below and follow us at no code devs Let's upload an image, edit to its logo right there, look at that. Let's pick this image, our logo, perfect. Thanks for applying, perfect. We'll get change all these around, you can change the, you can see there the font, the different aspects of it, you can change the button and where it sends as well, where this button goes, change your social media, link to site, all this. As you can see, you can upgrade to remove ads. I'm not going to upgrade for this site for the time being because I've just created just for this purpose. Perfect. So that's our first email in this drip campaign. Save that. Now, the next one, we don't want to do it straight away, obviously. What we want to do is put in a delay. So it won't be straight away, maybe three days later. So we're going to set a custom time. Click on this bit here, set a custom time. Bring it three days later. Now, limit frequency to one per contact one per don't limit so every time or once per every 24 hours because we would want to just do it for that one person who's contacted us and every time he fills out the form we just going to one per contact as you can see we need to upgrade again to doing this action here so if you do want to do a drip campaign you have to upgrade to ascend right but it's letting me do this for the time being brilliant right it's already brought these details through from sender it's even brought or uh, uh, through design layout what we do need to change though is the email content right so we don't want this information here thanks for applying it's already applied should we say a word from our volunteers maybe add something different to it like a video maybe um we've got a video from youtube let's put a youtube video link in there perfect on my old videos Right, so now we save, save and publish that. What we also need to do is change the subject. And what we're going to do really cool here, as you can see, I've changed the subject like line already. We'll change the, need to change the subject. 
call it check this out and what you can do here is you can link it to the information we received in the form so you click on dynamic value there and you can get the first name of the contact as you can see there you go so it would be check this out whoever sent the email which is brilliant perfect let's save that and there we go so that is our drip campaign our charity as you can see we could loads more you can do there is different time scales you can put on you can do it where if they if people have if people completing the form i thought that certain details i've made different choices you can do different email campaigns which is absolutely which is exactly the same thing you can do on mailchimp and other membership sites and it's really really easy to do all within wix now thank you for checking this video out as per usual please subscribe below and follow us at no code devs and keep on building <laughs>